just rang a video doorbell. It's a growing field of smart home tech that lets you see and talk to whoever's at your door. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here. And today, we're gonna find out which one is the best. We've narrowed the options to two finalists the Ring Video Doorbell Pro and the Nest Hello. There are lots of other video doorbells out there, including battery powered options. These two are our favorites. They're top of the line models and they both bring a lot to the table. So we're gonna dive in and figure out which one fits the best on your porch. For installation, both of the models need to be hardwired. Fortunately, they each walk you through all of the steps of the process. Basically, the steps of both are the same. You attach a power kit to the internal doorbell chime. Then you connect the wires from your old doorbell to the back of the device and attach it to your wall. Some of the steps might differ depending on your current doorbell, but the instructions for both are pretty clear. The Ring Video Doorbell Pro costs 250 bucks. It captures video in 1080p, it has 160 degree field of view, night vision, it will send you alerts if it detects motion, then you can pull up a live feed to see who's there. It won't save any footage unless you pay three bucks a month for cloud storage, which is a bummer. The Nest Hello has similar specs, 230 bucks, 160 degrees, night vision, motion alerts. The resolution is a little less than 1080p, 1600 by 1200 to be exact. You can pull up a live feed. You can also get personal alerts for free, so you can customize your notifications for when the hello sees a human instead of a leaf. Plus, it saves images from the alerts for three hours for free. The Nest Hello can recognize faces as well, but you need to pay for that feature and any cloud storage. Nest Aware subscriptions start at five bucks a month. Okay, installation's done. Let's put them to the test. Since they both offer motion alerts, one of the key things that they can do is protect your packages from porch pirates. With this test, the porch pirate will follow the same route and grab the same box to see what the two cams capture. With Nest, the alert comes quickly enough that I catch the pirate in the act. The recorded footage on the right shows the entire route and I get a clear view of the culprit. Now notice with Ring, the recorded clip is nearly identical. I catch the whole act and get a clear view of the pirate's face, but the alert on the left is delivered much later. If I wanna take action myself, I don't get as much chance. You'll need to pay the monthly fee to see these recordings with both. Then Ring gives you 60 days of cloud storage and Nest saves footage for 30. Ring does let you set motion zones for free, Nest doesn't, but Nest wins this first round thanks to the faster speed. With both, you can yell at the porch pirate to protect your package. Hey, porch pirate, scram. Now that I've scared off that porch pirate, it's time I kicked back and chilled for the rest of the afternoon. So I'm gonna see which of these doorbells can help the most if I'm feeling particularly lazy. I order a pizza, cause what better way to celebrate a relaxing afternoon? When the delivery person arrives, she rings. I hear the chime and get the notification on both of the apps. Both offer two-way talk, so I can say, come on in. And if I left the door unlocked and the delivery person is brave enough, I can enjoy a slice without ever getting up. But what if I didn't leave the door unlocked? Rewind. Pizza person comes, notification, two-way talk. Ah, crap, the door's locked. Well, if I have a smart lock, problem solved. But even though Google owns Nest and Amazon owns Ring, neither doorbell makes the process any easier. Still, I get my pizza, so I'm happy. But what if I don't have my phone on me? Dang it, rewind. Pizza person comes. I might need to actually get up when I hear the doorbell, unless I have a smart display or a smart speaker. Here's where the parent companies change things. If I have a Google smart speaker or smart display, the Nest Hello works better. I'll hear the announcement and can chat with the pizza person. With a smart display, I can even see what's going on. Ring has the same advantage if you have an Amazon speaker or display. The announcements don't work if you mix and match, so I would need to actually get off the couch of all the terrible things. But let's throw in a twist. What if it's not the pizza person, but that weird neighbor you've been trying to avoid? One last time, rewind. Again, if you have your phone on you or a compatible smart display, you can see it's the neighbor with both and stay very quiet. 
and Nest has an additional advantage if you pay for the subscription. If the neighbor has been over before and you've told the system who it is, your Google device can announce that the creepy neighbor is at the door. So I can hide under the couch a little quicker with the Nest Hello subscription in case he starts peeking in the damn windows or something weird like that. So both doorbells are actually pretty good options. But both Nest and Ring have recently had issues with compatibility and privacy, and those things aren't quite as fun. So here's the Porch Pirate to talk through them. Hey, Porch Pirate, what's going on with Nest? Well, basically, Google is in the process of rolling back the program that let third-party devices work directly with Nest products like this one. Well, so that affects the doorbell? I mean, matey. Basically, it means that Nest isn't going to work with quite as many products as it has worked with in the past. Now, Google is asking customers to migrate over to a new Works with Google Assistant account, but right now the Nest ecosystem feels just like a bit of a mess. Well, that kind of sucks, but let's talk about Ring. So is Ring's situation worse? Well, it depends on what you care about. No, Ring isn't going through the messy transition that Google is, but Ring and Amazon have worked closely with police forces across the US to get into some kind of problematic stuff. Like they wanted to pull facial recognition data from police databases to warn you of danger, but that could really easily lead to profiling problems. Needless to say, these moves have seriously troubled privacy groups that are worried about the risk of a burgeoning surveillance state. Oh, well, that's troubling. Yeah, so between the two cameras, Google is still trying to work out its connectivity kinks. And meanwhile, Ring is still trying to decide where it wants to draw the line when it comes to privacy issues. You pick your poison. Huh. Okay. Well, thank you, Porch Pirate. Sorry. Okay, so both have associated headaches, but they still have really good hardware with a lot of good strengths. Nest can even show your front door on the TV with Chromecast, and Ring works with Amazon's Fire TV. The Ring Doorbell Pro works great if you're already invested in Amazon smart home stuff. The Nest Hello is the best choice if you have Google Assistant devices like a Nest Hub, and because it also has advanced features like facial recognition, the Nest Hello wins the day and is our choice for the best video doorbell.